Before we'll delve into the details of GMMs, let's compare them to k-means clustering, which many of you may be familiar with. Both are clustering algorithms, but one important distinction is that k-means assigns each data point to the cluster of its nearest neighbors, whereas GMMs introduce a probabilistic approach by modeling data points as a mixture of multiple Gaussian distributions. So in simple terms, k-means puts a hard clustering label on each data point, whereas GMMs assigns a softer clustering label, telling us how probably it's for a data point to belong to a certain cluster. But how does the Gaussian mixture model achieve that? Well, imagine that you have the following data and you want to create a distribution you want to use to sample new data. Although not perfect, a good initial guess would be to say that this data comes from a Gaussian distribution and try to fit such a model on top of it by using something like the maximum likelihood estimation. However, what do you do if your data looks like this? Simply fitting a Gaussian distribution will not yield good results since this data is grouped into several clusters. So in order to have a much more representative distribution for it, you need to fit a Gaussian on top of each cluster, which is basically what GMM tries to achieve.